track window in Transport Controls Part 2. In addition to the start point, you can set up other cue points in your track. To do this, you just need to find the point in the track that you want. Right click the cue button and a new cue point will be written. This will also overwrite the order of any previously set cue points. To jump to a different cue point, just click on the relevant number button. Holding the cue button down will allow the track to play for as long as you keep it held. Letting go will automatically jump the track back to the cue marker. If you happen to set a start point after a cue marker, then you will not be able to access that cue point until the start point is changed to be prior to the cue point. There are four ways in which you can choose to have your track follow a tempo. Firstly, you can choose to control the tempo yourself using this slider. Secondly, you can set the tempo to change to that of the actual track. Thirdly, you can have Decadance control the tempo of the track using the tempo that has been set in the upper control bar of Decadance, or if you are using it within a VST host, by using the host's tempo instead, or lastly, you can choose to have the tempo synchronized to the other deck. Under the cue controls, you have access to the loop and leap buttons. Both of these are tied to the controls beside them. While the loop and leap tools both cause the track to loop, the major difference between the two is that when the loop stops playing, it will carry on in the track from the point that the loop ends. Leaping, however, causes Decadance to jump to the section that would have been playing if the looping had never occurred. The length of the section of music that will loop is set using the plus and minus buttons that are found just to the right here. The length is shown in the button above. In this button, when the arrow is not lit, then the loop or leap will start from the current point. Conversely, when the arrow is lit, the loop or leap will snap to the downbeat. This last batch of controls allow you to jump the track forward and backward by either a single beat in the top row or by a full bar on the bottom row. The VST button is used to activate any effects or instruments that are linked to the corresponding deck, and the headphone control will cause the output of this deck to be put to the audio output that has been selected in the options menu for monitoring.